Yeah, what's good? Welcome back to the Adult Hub Podcast. This Hi guys. Is episode 29, dropping on October 30th. That's right. The night before Halloween. Whoop. I hope y'all listened to last week's episode and got some Halloween etiquette Facts. so y'all know how to behave tomorrow. Yes. Shout out to everybody that's been liking, subscribing, and sharing clips. We really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys. The podcast is growing. Woo! Keep checking in every Monday. We drop a new episode. Nope. We're going 29 weeks strong. Nope. This is episode 29. I hope you guys enjoy it we break down uh my trip to the tonight show and bringing people over your house and Mm. having guests and dinner parties Mm. and it's another fun one if you want to see me live on the road i'll be at the punchline in san francisco this weekend november 1st to the 4th next weekend i'm in wesley chapel side splitters that's florida in the tampa area uh november 9th to 11th and the following weekend i'm in wilmington north carolina at dead crow comedy club the 17th and 18th and thanksgiving weekend i'm in philly at the punchline we got the whole gang Hey Back guys. in studio. Hey. Thank y'all for listening. Adoha Pod. Later. Is this good? Are we good? Was that good? Hey. This, this thumbs up means good. Launch? Are we launching? Yeah. Welcome to the Adoha Pod. Uh, Marty got a new iPhone and she doesn't it's, have a case on it. And supposedly we learned so much. So do you know about the bisexual girl cases? No, I don't know anything about bisexuals, but I do know that people who don't put cases on their phone are. I think I think they should. I think they should be a. Uh, UFC fighters. Yeah, they're like they, they should be like sat down and analyzed. They live for life like, on the edge. Yeah, I, okay. I don't I don't get it. People will pay two thousand dollars for a phone, cash, and then just have it raw dogging in their raw pockets. Raw doggy, just whew, not protected from nothing. It's like where do you get up? Like it, it's either I think it's overconfidence. I think so. In I your, think, yeah, and like your, your your ability to not fall. Yeah, Marty, when was the last time you fell? Like a day ago. Yeah, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel yeah, like you yeah, fall you often. Have on, you, on, you, you, you yeah, you look like you've taken a fall you before. Have irrational non-fall confidence. Confidence, yeah. You think I you can R- just walk N-C. around with your two thousand dollar phone, phone, fifteen, no case, and it's just not gonna break. Nothing at all. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's white people. Shout stuff. out to you. White people don't be using cases <laughs> at all. I'm, I'm starting that. <laughs> starting at that all. rumor. Shit just be flowing. Yep. Yeah, white yep. people don't use cell phone cases. That's a fact. Black people use cell phone cases. Minorities use cell phone cases that because is we fact. don't have that arrogance or that kind of insurance. Like, right. You know, we're not signing up for the what is it? Apple Care. Yeah. <laughs> no. What, what, what do you have? Two ninety nine. What do you have before this? Before the fifteenth. Uh, the 12th. The 12th? Okay. So okay, two so years. You upgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. Okay. That's Shout good. out to you. Yeah. Sometimes people like, when people get upgrades, they'll be like, they get the new one and they're like, yeah, I had the six. I'm like, the six? Yeah, yeah. You didn't yeah. even have the Instagram app that's on your crazy. phone. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is insane. That's even before, uh, what is it? What's the US, what's the what's the connector? The Firewire? What's it? Yo, the USB-C, engineer? right? That's what it is now. USB-C. That's the, that's the fast the one. What's the one before? Firmware or something like that? It used to be just USB. Oh, yeah. yeah. USB. Well, no, were, it was Apple. Apple, they had the nasty one. They had their own Oh, one. the, oh, the yeah, 18 yeah. pin one. Yeah, yeah. yeah the that's one. crazy. They're still on yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. Good I didn't come in. I didn't get an iPhone until I was like, to like the four, I think. That, that sounds was, about right. I was on Blackberry. That sounds about right. That I was getting BB. Right. You you had a Blackberry? BBM. No. Yeah. Yeah. We got the same iPhone though. I got the four. Yeah. Did you? That's when you launched off. Uh-huh. That, okay. Yeah. Did you read the thing that was like a new iPhone, like the, like the original? Somebody had like an original in the case in the, case? I, in the thing iPhone that sold for like over a hundred k something like yeah. that. Yeah. Which is that's pretty cool. Like the original one was just an iPod, basically. Yeah, with and seven songs. I used to get the new one every time it came out every year, but now Yo I, también. I just I, I do every two three years. That's part of like being an adult. Ain't no adult getting a new phone every year. I, every year, especially if it's two thousand, and you're yeah. definitely gonna put a case on it. But you know, shout out to each their own. Yeah. Um, I used to be the same way. I used to be like the pre-order and like my dumb ass used to stand outside of Sprint at like four o'clock in the morning. No, was, you yeah. was a camp out guy? I was a camp out I don't, guy. I never took you for a camp out guy. I never guy. took myself for a camp out guy I either, don't believe it. I, I'm going to need I to drank, see pictures. I drank the Kool-Aid. I sniffed whatever and I was out there with the with the Apple heads. I've never stood in line for anything in my life. Not even Jordans? Nothing. Who the hell do you think you are? No, I just, I, it's just not Some in my nature. Some kind of big shot or something? No, man. I'd just rather be barefoot oh. than, than, than have it. I, I just can't. I can't stand in line. You know what? I know we have I know we have topics, but you bring up something very, very, very um critical. What do you think about men's feet 
and particularly like going to get them treated at like what I think women would call the uh, pedicure place, the like the nail salon. Like men getting so. pedicures? Yeah, yeah. And and getting your hands treated also. What do you think about that? I just got a manicure this week. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah. Did you go to where'd you go? Because I went to I went to my spot. I went to my spot in my okay. spot in Queens. Okay. Um did yeah, they no. take care of you? Yeah, they're good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, but I did I, I once once I was in I was in the Dominican Republic. Que lo que? And uh I was looking to get a, a a manicure, you know. I like to say the full word. I yeah. like to say I'm, manicure. I'm still, pedicure. I'm still I'm still working on I don't um, like to say mani pedi. I feel like that's person. very feminine. Yes. Okay. So I say manicure pedicure. Okay. So I, I went. They they took me to this uh to this uh salon to get a manicure pedicure, mm -hmm. and um it it was fine. It was good. Got manicure. Got pedicured. But then somehow I don't know if it was because I was in a foreign country uh -huh. or I felt a little bit like I wasn't in my own. It wasn't a home game for mm -hmm. me, like mm -hmm. per se. It wasn't mm -hmm. like my home, like Queens. Mm -hmm. But somehow the lady convinced me to get like gel nails done like like the, the polish <laughs> yeah no, no it was like gel like it wasn't even polished it was like a coat yeah like the a coating. gel coat where i had to like get my nails like they, she put some like clear uh -huh. on it and then i had to put it through a, a blu-ray light uh, do you know this do you know the blu-ray light yeah yeah okay. what is that what is okay. that gel yeah. Are those gel tips? Yeah, you got gel done. Oh, or, you had gel tips. Or you got, did you get gel or did you get powder, like G dipped? Gel. Okay. You got the gel. Yeah. Gel. Okay. Because then, then you put it in and then you got to stand there with your hand minutes. while the blue light cooks it. Yeah. And then when it comes out, your, your nails, they look they look gay. So, uh, okay. That's like the process of it. Okay. Yeah. Which was cool. And you went through that? No, it was nice because hey. then my, my feet, I did my feet too. Oh. Because I, I told them, I was like, hey, I don't want to have... Uh, you mismatch know, yeah I don't want to have that's crazy yeah. well I didn't want to have I didn't know again this is why like and also if, if you you know whatever you want to do to your nails it's your business that's you know, true. we don't judge here at, the at, adult all. Pod. at all part of adulting is being who you want to be and feeling comfortable in your own skin that's right so shout out to everybody that's uh, getting gel tips done the but, number one health and wellness podcast in the right. universe I personally myself I did not want to have feminine hands uh, I yeah. need my hands for work Ma and masculine cause yeah because I hold the microphone and, and uh, yeah so yeah. I need it for work but uh I got convinced and the girls at the at the at the thing they was like no it's not feminine you know a, a bunch of straight men come and get their nails gelled, gelled. and, and Gel painted filled. Yeah. yeah and then I kid you not I left the place and went out to eat to a restaurant and as soon as I sat down the waiter was like you got gel tips on your nails oh and I was like is this not are men not doing this and he just laughed <laughs> he just laughed and walked away ah uh, wait so, this, what was his nails like did he, was he gelled or he was ungelled I didn't want to look at his nails it was okay. already awkward enough the way he uh, yeah. approached you yeah Damn. but he, he was like are did those he, gel nails gel and I was like you? yeah I was like men are doing this right and he was like nah and just walked off <laughs> he, he gel shamed you yeah I got gel shamed that's in a crazy. foreign country that's wild that's the thing about when you go to foreign countries, like a lot of the movements that have happened here have not happened, they haven't happened over there. Yeah. No, they so definitely haven't crossed. They're living in the 80s and 90s yeah, yeah. socially. Like, honestly. like So they'll come up to you and be like, hey, you look like, you know, it's you, you, any wild. type of derogatory yeah. term. Open. And, yeah. And that's, and that's fine. They'll keep their jobs. They'll keep their careers. It's basically like, it's like Miami Vice out there. Yeah. You it's know, crazy. They're, they're in a, a specific time. That's true. Yeah. But how do you feel about the nails? Um, So I got, I got treated. I, I, I still haven't um grown up enough as a person to be able to say a manicure and pedicure. I just feel some type of way. Hopefully by my uh next birthday, I'll be able to say it, but I got my nails treated. You never got a pedicure? No, I just got one the other day. Oh, okay. I had a full Gel on, tips? Oh, uh, no. I avoided the gel. They didn't even offer it to me. So I don't yeah. know. What that lady Bad thought service. about you or what my lady thinks about me. But, you know, we'll leave that up to the universe. But yeah. it was, honestly, I understand the the self-care Sundays, self-care um, rituals that have been uh, so pronounced in the last recent years. So I just feel like, I think I'm going to schedule one. Weekly? No, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, weekly is a lot. I wouldn't go that far. Weekly is a lot. Definitely like once a month. Once a month Definitely is, is once decent. Month. Yeah. Once a month is good. But you feel brand new. I feel like luxurious. It's just like don't shake my hand. You know, it's definitely a lot of a lot of yeah. fisting. F yeah. yeah. Whoa. I think okay. I think that for me, <laughs> once a month is good. Okay. Um, I just did it on Monday, but I didn't just go get my nails done for no reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know. I did the Tonight Show on Monday. Oh, -ho! 
<laughs> and uh, I wanted to go in. You know, I don't know. I'm going to be at the table. You can't be shaking hey. Jimmy's hands with dirty fingernails. <laughs> And the first, the second time, I, this is my third time, by the way. I don't know if anyone's keeping count, but Trace. I've done it three times already. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a pro at it. Uh, the second time I did it, it was, the other guest was The Rock and uh, Camila Cabello. Okay. Me and Lil Baby. Oh, okay. So it was star-studded. That was a star-studded it event. Was the top of the it was top of the food chain in every industry. Comedy, was, was movies, music, and rap. Yeah. It was good. It was good. And The Rock was premiering uh, his movie. Uh, what, what was that? Black Adam? Oh. The superhero movie? Yeah. That he did? Um, so, yeah. So, he. it was great. I met The Rock. He invited. He actually invited me to his premiere and all that. And that was cool. I did didn't go. go. Y'all know me. I don't who, go places. Who is this guy? Yeah. White parties turned down The Rock's premiere. I had plans. What, what were your plans? plans? I had dinner. I was going to have, I was, uh, after I did, I have a uh, ritual. After I do the Tonight Show, I go and have dinner with my manager and agents. Okay. And I already, we already had plans. You can't break that. Even though they were like, go to the premiere. I was like, for what? Mm. I'm just going to be at the premiere. I'm going to be standing there next to The Rock. You know, he's like a little bit bigger than me. So it's going to look weird. <laughs> and it's just not, you know, it's not a place I want to be. Especially when you have the ritual already set up. Yeah. So this time, um, you know, obviously there's a, the the actors are still in strike. The actors are still in strike, so um, a lot of actors can go on the show to promote like their big projects because the actors are on strike. Mm. Um, but again, such is every time I do that show, it's such a fun time. Uh, they send you a, a car. Mm. They send you a big a big the big suburban that mm. that picks you up and and at your door and drops you off at Thirty Rockefeller, which is. You know, right next to Radio City, it's just so showbiz. You got they got security waiting for you as soon as you pull up. Security's waiting ear for you. Earpieces, yeah, a lot of earpieces. They're this like, you the know, the you know, eagle big. has landed. Yeah, the gel yeah, tips have yeah. dried. They're saying all the things. Uh huh. You know, and uh, open the door for you, take you up, secret. And I don't even know, like, if if you told me right now, like, go to Dirty Rock and get up, go to the Tonight Show. I don't even know how to take you there. Because it's a blur. Like, it's like, yeah, they take you through. It's like a maze to, mm. to get there. I don't even know the route that I took. Okay. But the, you go, you go in, they take you upstairs. They show you your dressing room. The dressing room is full of snacks. Mm. They got gifts for you every Premium time you do it. snacks or like Kirkland? No disrespect to Kirkland, but, you know, there's a difference. No, green, green room green snacks. Room. A lot of, like, you know, stuff like this. Okay. Like, like, like weird, you know, like oh, olive. Healthy. <laughs> Olives, Healthy snacks. Like a, you got yeah. a bowl of olive, olive M&M's chips. and you're like, yeah. I don't even know M&M's made olives, but mm, you know, okay. yeah. So you got that. They give you a gift package when you do the Tonight Show. It's like a wrap package. We thank you for, for, for doing it. And uh, and then you're chilling in the green room and it's it's Hollywood back mm, there, baby. Mm. You got celebrities coming in and out. They do Saturday Night Live on the floor under. Okay. Was Tracy Morgan there? And, uh, no, Tracy Morgan was not there. Pete Davidson, who's hosting Saturday Night Live, he was there because he's hosting Saturday Night Live this week. Okay. But he did it the night after me. Mm. Um and uh and it's good, you know, you get you you're you're just hanging out. It's just like a cool hangout. You go do rehearsal where you go out into the studio, you run your set, you do the segment. Then you come back and you change into your outfit for the show. Jimmy comes by, says hello. And, you know, I've done it three, three times. times already. So he's like, you know, how's the family? Uh -huh. Is your dad good? When are we hanging out? You know, we're Hollywood buddies. Hollywood talk. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. talk. Yeah. yeah, he means none of it. But we... we, we, it's, we it's good to get it good. out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's good talk. Um, and then he gets out there and the show gets going, man. You got the roots there. Oh, like, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. How the roots Quest Great. is doing, Great. going crazy. Yeah. I, All right. I had a long conversation. Black thought. Long conversation with Questlove okay. after. Because I did the, I had, I did the uh, whole chunk about manifesting mm. and, uh, and the vision board. And after he was telling me, he was like, he's a... Legit believer. He's of, a vision board. Yeah, vision board manifesting. He was. He got an Oscar. He was like, "This is." He's like, "I I legitimately manifested my Oscar." He's mm. like, "It wasn't until I started manifesting and and vision boarding that things came true." So, did you tell him about the uh, the sage that we burn in here? Because you know, that, I, I feel like I, that's a part about the manifestation. I forgot to tell him about the sage. Oh, I forgot man. the sage. That's part. a part of the manifest. That's a part of whiteboarding. That's an essential mm -hmm. part because you right. need to get the. The negative juju, the negative uh, chi out the room when you, exactly. when you manifest your dreams. Okay. Exactly. But I, next time I'll bring it up, the the sage burning. Um, but I did it. It was my third time. I felt comfortable. I felt good. This is probably the most fun that I've had. I had a olive fit. 
I got a lot of compliments on the fit. It's all about the fit. Uh, yeah, a lot of compliments. That's a big deal when you do that. Like, what are you going to wear? Yeah. Um, a lot of compliments on the fit. You got to get your makeup done. Mm. You know, same old telling me I got Jotip? perfect skin. No, no joke. No joke. Okay, okay. Just perfect skin. You don't need makeup. You're beautiful. You know the things the you get in Hollywood. Yeah. And, uh, and we did the set. The set went great. They posted it, some of it up on TikTok. It's at 2 million almost on TikTok. Woo! And we're at like one point something on uh, Instagram. On the so Insta. We're climbing. There you go. It's good. It's fun, so man. Basically Check it went, out if you haven't done so. It's up on YouTube. Basically, you went triple platinum. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's All up right. on YouTube. Um, check it out if you haven't done so already. Give it a share. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Because the bigger I get, the quicker I can end this podcast. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. The bigger I get, the better the podcast gets. The bigger the podcast gets, the more we can do live shows yeah. and all that. And Aperol Spritz deals. All that you know, good stuff. You, right. all, all, all everything that we've been talking about. Shout out to, so I posted, you know, you was going to be on there on your story. And then um, shout out to my boy, DJ Runner. He was actually in the middle of laundry, but he had it on the screen, on the big oh, screen. Oh, did he? Yeah. Shout yeah, out. He had shout the out to the on the big screen. Yeah, so Runner, what's up? That's actually Swiss Beats' DJ, so shout out to Swiss. Shout out, shout out of, to Runner. First yeah. of all, I do, I, speaking of shout outs, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. F.U., the oh. clothing brand. You see me wear a lot of this stuff, but okay. I went up there to the Heights. They're, they're a Dominican clothing brand. Que lo que urban, mi gente. Urban streetwear. They got a, sabe. a lot of dope, dope stuff. Uh, check out the Chop House and in, in man. They gave me like a ton of clothes. Fire. And- I love because you know we we wear like the you know the billionaire boys club and mm-hmm. the thing and all that stuff is fine but when you're wearing other type of clothes and people are like oh where you where, get that from yeah. that's like a real sign so yeah I, I think I'm a I think I'm gonna become a a Mr F U guy okay you know all right um so it's so it's good make sure you guys check them out Mr F U yeah yeah okay big shout the, out to the Mr Chop F-U. House. Is yeah. that um? Is that mauve? What color is mauve, that? Well, yeah, yeah, mauve, yeah. Yeah. That's how you know you've reached a diff- different echelon. Like you've been on Jimmy Fallon right. three times when you start pulling out mauve, you yeah. know, like peach, yeah. that regular color. So big shout out to you. Here's the thing, because when 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 you're not when you're not successful, right? You think that there, there's like four colors. You no. think it's like <laughs> black, white, red yellow right but then you start seeing some type of success you do the tonight show a couple times and you're like okay maybe i should wear pink maybe gel tips are not that bad this is the thing that the entertainment industry does for you teaches you you know, you know? yeah okay all right i can see it i still love black though i cool. mean you know i'm climbing i'm climbing yeah I'm climbing <laughs> that has some color in it the that next, definitely does have some color the in the it. it's one. a splash yeah but I'm, you know also you know once you're a big dude it's just like you're you, 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 uh, your color palette isn't really expanded when you go to some of these retailers so i like i like dark colors though I'm i mean they just guy. you I know, just got new couches did you yeah they're good dark gray where'd you go uh wayfair you didn't call me about this like this is a big decision like i know adult furniture is huge i know i know it was a, it was a spur of the moment thing wow you just a whole new set yeah i'm like that you are you like i'm, I'm like i'm not a huge you, planner i just i just decide just something it. and yeah, i do it yeah yeah i, I was scrolling that. on wayfair looking at couches i had perfectly good couches uh-huh i saw these couches i just purchased them mm. and then gave my couches away there you go. Two weeks later, now I got new couches. Honestly, it's called philanthropy. That's number one. Yeah, the giving um, away. Yeah, I like to give back. Number two, I'm a big crate and barrel guy. Crate and barrel. <laughs> but that's an in-person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You definitely got to go. You have to have like an advisor with you and then you go through all of the the uh, the comfortability. Now, did you go with a super comfortable couch or like Ooh, medium? this is a super comfortable. Oh, I got one of these. Good luck. You ever seen these? I'm sure you have. You've seen these things where it's like... It's this, but, but it's like extended. more, yeah. like it's like a yeah. bed. It's like yeah. a whole bed. Thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. So, so, and then you could like adjust them different ways yeah. you want. So, yeah. I'm very excited. I went ahead and ordered a new dining room table too. Oh my god, yeah. this guy! I'm, re- I'm rebranding. Did, did Jimmy Fallon just make you go splurge? I'm That's rebranding myself. You know, home and wellness. Yeah. Like, what, what what's going on over there? I had a I had a normal I had a, a high a little high top that was like a two seater, mm-hmm. and now I got like a little bigger one for four. Uh-huh. I like to have guests. I want to. Come over. Are we'll you have, hosting? We'll, yeah, you're a hosting. Yeah, guy? we'll have dinner. We'll we'll. When you get into the hosting stage of your life, that's how you know you you've really made an adjustment. You know, I feel like that's a big part of growing up. It is. It like, definitely is. Come over to my house. Let's have dinner. But you also know that outside of like your friends, friends, or even with your family, you know, because we come from a, a, a family of diaspora. It doesn't matter how much you love them, how much they love you, they're gonna judge your house. Yes. 
which I, I welcome that. Mm, mm. I, I, you like I that want, challenge. Yes, I want, my house, I want my house to be judged. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree with that. And mm. I feel like you should judge a mm. house. Mm. I was raised under the thing of you don't bring, you don't show up to somebody's house empty handed. Empty handed. That's a fact. That's definitely a fact. That, that, yeah. You, no matter what, mm -hmm. you showing up to somebody's house, bring them something. Something. Bring them a yeah. carton of eggs. Yeah. Just show up. Eggs ain't cheap. It don't even got to be 12. Six it's, eggs. Give me half a carton. Six, and just six be like, hey, I was in the neighborhood now. and they were selling eggs. You eat eggs? Yeah, bring the eggs in. But at the same time, too, I feel like we live in establishments where that I'm in the neighborhood is not going to fly. Like, do you need to be announced. Like, like, this has to be planned. I'm not really into, like, surprise visits. Well, I mean, surprise. if you if you surprise, if you try to, try to surprise visit me, I'm going to call the police. There you go. Okay, so I'm we're on just, the same page. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to yeah. assume that you're here to murder me. Yeah. Because why haven't you sent me a message? I mean, you've been, in all forms you've been sharing of memes with me on Instagram. Yeah. And then you just show up because you're in the neighborhood. Mm -mm. Don't don't be in people's neighborhoods. Mm -mm. I'm the kind of person, if I'm in your neighborhood and you don't know about it, I leave. I'm not telling you I wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't want you. You know how weird it is for you to run into me, into your, in your neighborhood? It's very weird. And you, you're like... What what the hell are you doing here? And then I got to, oh no, I was getting my nails done. No. I'm the I mean like I'm I'm almost at that Larry David phase of my life where if I see somebody that I know that I don't want to get into that conversation with, I'm looking for the escape route like hopefully they didn't see my big ass like let me duck down a little bit cuz I don't want it. That's like that's almost an hour out of your day and if you're busy, you can't, you know. I'm at the point in my life where I don't go to people's neighborhoods. Mm. If you live in that neighborhood, I'm going to the, the opposite. Like if there's a Trader Joe's near your house, you're going but to there's the, one in Long Island, I'm going, going to, to Long Island. Island. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to run into you. No, definitely at, not. At Trader Joe's. No, definitely not. And I like you, but we're, it's just- we're cool. Yeah, but, but it's just- I don't need you to see me. I feel me. like there's such, there's like personal- Yeah, getting my cookie butter no, spread. No, 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 no. I don't need you seeing me get my, you yeah, know, my honey uh, body oil that I like yeah, to do use yeah, before bed and my incense at Trader Joe's. Avocado oil. I feel like it's going to ruin the, 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 the mystique, the yeah. mystique, yeah. right? Right, yeah. Some lines should never get trespassed upon, yeah. I don't even, to be honest, going over people's houses, like, I'm not Ooh, even that's a that's I'm that's not even doozy. sure we should allow that. That's a doozy, that's a doozy, that's definitely a doozy. I feel like we shouldn't, I feel like what are we going over people's houses for? What can't we just like? Meet outside number one. First of all, house parties. No, no, I'm not no, no. no. I, I oh my god. My thing it. is, I really, I'm not into cleaning up after people. Like, that was one of my, um, like one of the lines where it was just like, I am not living with roommates anymore. I think I you, you did the roommate. I thing, did right? the roommate thing. And let me tell you something. That shit ruins friendships. Oh, of course. And, I mean, and it ruined any of mine, thank God. But I, I, I witnessed it ruin other people's. And I'm just like, damn, like, oh, I mean, y'all was y'all was almost like, uh, what's his name? John C. Riley and Will Ferrell. Now y'all can't stand each other. Dude, nothing ruins a relationship more than living together. Ooh. You want to ruin your relationship, whether it's friendship, boyfriend, girlfriend, move in together and get mm, married and mm, then see what happens. Mm. We're not meant to live with people. Mm. We're meant to have our own spaces. Mm. And in New York, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible for which one to, to have, have your own space. To have your own space. <laughs> yeah, like a one bed. Have you ever been to a? I mean, a one bedroom apartment in New York City. I mean, it's basically jail. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's sad. It's very confined. It's like solitary confinement. And in like in my building, I got people who like I see who have like a one bedroom apartment, and, and I see like ten people, living four there? people living. They got a yeah. whole family. I like I want to go check in. I want to I want to check out your quarters. I, I, your, your mental health. Yeah, like, I want to see. You guys don't what's, like each other. I want to see what's going on in yeah. there. The funniest part is when like you could spot who lived uh, with people that they didn't like during COVID because even during the mandates, they was like, fuck it, I'm outside. I can't stand this person. I need to be sitting on the stoop or whatever. That's why Why you think people was going outside and eating outdoor dinners. And it wasn't because they couldn't order. It was just like, I can't stand the people I live with. So I'm going to go outside and freeze my ass for some calamari. I can't imagine people who had to quarantine with someone who they didn't like. Yeah. Woo. With someone they didn't like. Praying for them, child. For the whole thing. Yeah. The other day I was thinking about, I was like, I kind of miss COVID. Not actual COVID, but just not having to work all the time and mm. being home. Mm. Obviously mm. not this, the bad the parts actual, where yeah. people got sick and, you know, not that part. But the but the at home, everybody watching Netflix and everybody mm. watching the same shows uh -huh. and everybody on Instagram. I mean, I don't, we'll never have that again. No. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. Lord <laughs> yeah. Willing. Yeah. We'll never have that again. Or if it was, just like, dude, how it was originally supposed to be done. Like, just give everybody two weeks off because it was only supposed to last for two weeks and then open shit back up. Yeah. Remember that? Remember when it was like, it's going to last two weeks? Yeah. And then two weeks turned into two months, into two years. Two years? Woo! Oh boy. Yeah. I was I was in my apartment building um the other day and I was I was getting home from a show and I got home kind of late and there was this uh girl like she, this girl she got on the ele- no she wasn't on the elevator with me. So I have two elevators. So she got off the other elevator and I got off this elevator but on the same floor. And then I walked to my apartment and then she walked to hers. And then I had some garbage that I wanted to take out. So I walked out. Like after I went in, I walked, I took the garbage out to go put it down to shoot. Mm-hmm. And she's standing in front of her door. And she's like, it's like this, I think she was Asian, maybe, or maybe she was white. I I don't remember clearly, but she was standing in front of the door and she's like, come help me open my door. And I was like, what? What? She was like, and I don't, I mean, I'm from New York. I don't know my neighbors. I don't know anyone who lives in my building. I I, I see them, I look down. Yeah. I I don't, I'm not the let me borrow sugar neighbor. Hey, how are you? No, I, I say nothing. Hey, weren't you on Jimmy Fallon for no. the third time last N- night? No, no, that wasn't me. Okay. So I don't know this girl. Because it looks girl. really just like you. No, it wasn't me. Okay. I don't know this girl. She's, she's wearing olive. She's probably, <laughs> she's probably <laughs> maybe 30, early 30s, maybe late 20s. Mm-hmm. Young girl. Mm-hmm. Um, She can't get into her apartment. It's two in the morning. And she's yelling at me. I'm like, this sounds she like was a like, case. yeah, she was like, come help me open. Cause she was like, help me open my door. And I was like, no, no. Yeah. I was just like, nah, hell no. And I, I wonder if to her, <laughs> I was being a dick. An asshole. Yeah. But I was like, you got to go, go, go to the front desk. Yeah. Go tell the doorman. I can't let you in. What does that look like? What you look crazy. Next thing I know, there's a da- Netflix documentary about uh, the guy who's the, trying to help comedian. people into their doors. Yeah. No, I'm not yep. doing that. Yep. By yep. the way, this is an adulthood podcast. Oh, woo, 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 woo. yes, sir. We kind of got going. We did. We going. This is the adulthood podcast. Hey, the number one health and wellness podcast in, in the, the hood. universe. The hood. And, uh, you know what we do here is we talk about adult stuff. We talk about adulting. We talk about uh, basically the issues facing young adults Woo. in America. Yep, that made it seem like a lot more. Uh, Deep impactful Deep than, 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 than what it than is. The podcast actually is. <laughs> I had this happen on a flight. I was mm. I was meaning to, to tell you. Um, I was on a flight. I, I forgot where I was going. I think I was coming back from Vegas or something. And uh, there was a girl sitting next to me. And I swear I'm not making this up. This is gonna sound like it's made up. <laughs> but there was two girls sitting next to me, and they were friends, right? They were they were talking. They were friends. And one of them fell asleep in a. And the, the one in the far left, yeah, fell asleep. I'm in the aisle. She's in the middle. One of them fell asleep. And the middle seat one starts, she pulls out her phone and starts, she's like on TikTok. She's connected to the Wi-Fi. So she starts going on TikTok and she starts watching stand-up videos. And it starts, like, it starts with Matt Rife. And okay. I'm like, okay, I know her. And I forgot who else. And then the third video, is guess who it is? Ian Lara Lodge. It's me. Uh-huh. And I'm I'm sitting right next to her as she's watching a stand up video of, of, of me. Yeah, I'm watching to see if like she laughs. Does she, no laughs. Does she? But that hurt a little bit. But she's <laughs> sitting there watching a stand up video of me. Then does she slow turn? No, no. Like she said nothing. She she just said nothing. Did she and it? it wasn't like she she didn't go to my page. Like she was scrolling on. I was only her phone. Uh huh. She was scrolling like up the thing, and I'm like, should I be like, hey, <laughs> surprise? <laughs> Guess who it is? You never guessed it. Aren't you lucky? Bet you didn't expect me to be sitting in uh-huh. row 34E. Uh huh. You know, emergency exit. No, the oh. last row by the bathroom. Oh no, uh, it's cheaper. Uh. So I didn't say nothing. So I'm like, all right. She obviously she doesn't realize it. She obviously doesn't know who I am. And then. I, I go about my day, we land, whatever thing. I'm on my phone. I'm on Instagram. I go to my DMs. Guess who it is? 34D. Yes. Oh. My seat neighbor oh. saying, hey, You're I so thought funny. it was you. Yeah, I thought it was you, but you're way more attractive in person. She said that. I didn't make it up. I'll show you. Hey. Yeah. And uh, I shoot was like, shoot. you damn right I am. <laughs> so that was a funny story. Shoot and shoot. Yeah. Oh, another flight story. I'm Talk sorry. All me. I do is travel, so I have a there lot of flight go. stories. Um, this you sound I, like a comedian. This, yeah, this actually happened like 
a little while ago, but I thought it was crazy. When this happened, I was like, oh, I got to tell APM about this. I was on a flight one time. I was going to Vegas. By the way, the Vegas flight, especially uh, the afternoon flight, crazy disaster. Crazy. I was just going to Vegas. I told you, two girls got kicked off before the plane for being too drunk. Too drunk. It was APM. We were going to Vegas on a Thursday. Two people kicked off immediately. It's APM somewhere. Yeah. Told the, told the pilot to kiss their ass on the way out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You um, heard it like the pilot was making the announcement and you heard it like when they was getting the scored out, you heard they was like, and the pilots could kiss my ass. Oh, yeah. Thrown off the plane. Were yeah. you flying from New York to Vegas? Yeah, New York. That New York like to Vegas. New York thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But I was on a flight one time where, because uh, it's like a party flight, right? People, you, That's it. you leave at eight o'clock, but you get to Vegas at like 1030. So you're so like, you're when I get time. there, I just want to hit it and yep. hit the strip and, you know, keep partying. Yep. Um, so this girl was sitting next to me and I think she took a couple Xanax. Like next to me, cause she like popped some pills, cause she actually offered it. She was kind of like a nice person. She a decent was like, person. She was like, I hate flying. Like, I, she's like, I just hate flying, so I just take a couple of these. So she took a couple of Xanax, and I was like, No, I'm good. You know, on the strangers, on a taking drugs from a strange white girl on a plane. Yep. Um. So I didn't take it, and we took off. Whatever it was normal, and she got so so zonked out, bro. In the middle of the flight. Like she's dazing off. She fought like she's facing. She falls face no. on my like full on my thing. Like I'm like this. Her face is on my crotch. Like she's just she's like drooling on no. my pants. I swear. She's drooling Did on her pants. Did she ask you to hold the baby formula too? No, she's she's out of it. She's like, she's Damn. gone. And her boyfriend <gasps> is like sitting next to her. But I think he was on something is he on too. ZX too. Yeah, I think he was on a pill too. Cause I was like, did he lay also? I was like, I was <laughs> like, bro, I was like, bro, <laughs> you gotta get her. And he grabs her by like her head, like like she was a dog kind of, and picks her up. And then she's like, ah, oh, I'm I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. And I was like, wow, Vegas is crap. About to get head on this flight. <laughs> Unprovoked, unsolicited head. Unsolicited fellation is crazy. Yeah. It was oh wild. man. So what's the lesson of that? Don't take Xanax on the plane. Yeah. Don't 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 do drugs on on, on flights. I actually took Xanax when I was Did on a you? flight. Yeah. Cause I but I got prescribed from my doctor. Just is that supposed to what calm you down? That's like melatonin. Well, it, it'll if you don't take it, it'll knock you out. Mm. Um, but it'll also if you don't fall asleep, it'll just make you cool with everything. Oh, okay. Like, like you'll just be like, listen, man. If we Nothing crash, you. if we crash, we crash. <laughs> yeah. What's crash really? Really? What's crashing really? Okay. Other than just hitting the ground really fast, and that's how you'll just feel. That's about how you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long does it last? So for? it'll keep you. It depends. Ah. I took I took like a small dose. I think it's like five milligrams. That's nothing, but. I uh you I know that the, there's people that say take like 30 milligrams. That's so crazy. crazy. Yeah. I know Future talks about that all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Papa Zan. Yeah. Um, but for me, it, it just helps me uh be able to get a little bit of sleep. sleep. I'm not a sleep on a plane guy, even though I'm on a plane so much. I Are just, you a neck pillow guy? Yeah, I got Are a neck a pillow. I got a neck a pillow. Guy? No, not a blanket. No. Blanket is a that's high level. A little, yeah. Too much, too far. Nah, I think it's a little too much. It's not masculine. Ah. Uh. Men shouldn't be cold. How about this, though? That's true. Especially uh, when you're chasing the reins. But what do you think about flying in a suit? I like it. Really? That's so uncomfortable. Like a suit suit. I'm talking like about it. like you're going to court. When people see you publicly. So you're wearing a suit on the plane? No, I never did it. But, okay. I, but I feel like it should be mandatory. Eh. If it were up to me, no kids and everybody will have to be in business in attire. In business attire? Yeah. I, I don't see what's wrong with that. When I used to work, I used to work for Delta. When I used to work for Delta, when you flew on company you had to dress thing, up. you had to do business attire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. One of my homeboys, his uh, his parents, they uh, they worked for an airline and that's definitely what, because they had the buddy pass. Yeah. Well, So did you get the buddy pass at Delta? I did. There was a lot of people that was starting to buy them because of the buddy pass. Yeah. 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 Buddy passes were good. You, I got my my parents, my mom and dad, and then you got eight buddy passes, and then you got a companion too. Mm, mm. So the companion was for the year. For yeah, they flew they flew for free. That over. was a hot commodity. Yeah, it was it was good. Okay, it was good. They really did take you have care a great time it. with that one. Yeah, it all was right. good. We'll why right why why you don't like people flying in suits? I just feel like it looks uncomfortable, and also you have to go through TSA, and if you're not, I mean, you know, we're seasoned vets, so we're uh, TSA pre pre check. T I, I gotta say something about TSA pre Talk TSA pre check and clear all that sucks. Really? They signed everybody up. 
So now the lines are it's just long, as long as uh, the normal thing. Yeah. I'm paying this money so I can feel like I'm better than people. So I can. I can't feel like I'm better than people if there's a line. You can't. I sent them an email. I'm like, what is what this? What is this? It's a scam. It's, it's now they, they combine. They have TSA pre check clear. Clear. Yeah, clear plus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the clear plus line. Like, <laughs> guess we're just peasants again. <laughs> Taking your shoes off. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Clear sucks. I want. But, I want. I don't know. I guess private. Why? Why should you fly in a suit? I understand if you're working. Well, for some the, people got meetings. As soon as they land, there's a bathroom. I'd rather you it fly in a suit than make see you put on to, a suit in a bathroom. Uh, oh, touche. Yeah. All right. That if if you're putting on a suit in a in bathroom, bathroom, I'm in gonna a, at an airport. Yeah, I'm gonna alert the airport police. Okay. Because that's suspicious to me. Are you gonna alert TSA? No, I don't speak to TSA. Okay. They're very mean to me. They are. Yeah. Is it because uh, shout out to all the TSA people though? Shout out to all the TSA li- people that are listening right now too. And yeah. when you see us, just you know, let us cut in front. Yeah, adulterers. They're good. Yeah. How was your week, man? My week was great. I told you I had a uh, self care Sunday, so I really took care of myself. I got my feet treated. I got my hands treated. Got a haircut. You know, I'm starting to do the things that I like to do. You did this by yourself, or yes, with your lady? Yes, this was a, a solo mission. So you, how did that work? Like you just got up and told your lady, "Hey, I'm I'm, I'm doing me." Today. That's basically how I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I couldn't, uh, I couldn't really uh, go into the the, the specifics. I, I feel something, she was something like, about me feels uncomfortable. Cause you know, isn't, no, isn't know. it so funny? You out here getting a manicure, and like your girl could be thinking you cheated, cheated, cause you're being suspicious about it. But in actuality, I'm just like, yeah. slightly insecure. Cause she's like, "Where are you going?" And you're like, "Don't ask." Don't me worry where about I'm it. Going. I'm just doing my thing. I, I'd rather not talk. Just yeah. call me if you need me. Uh-huh. If, I, if I can't answer, I'll get to you when I can. And meanwhile, you, you can't answer because your, your hands are jealous. <laughs> In the, in the gel machine. In the lotion warmer. Yeah. <laughs> you get all uh, uh, treated. I got the green tea spy. Right. Like, yeah. So no, did you do I a full talk. spa treatment? Or? Basically. Basically. That's good, man. You got, It's good for your mental health. You got to take care of yourself. Yeah. I think I think that is a, that's a thing. That's a... I feel like everything goes to extremes, though, because I feel like... Talk to me. Ta- like, taking care of yourself is good. Resting is good. All that stuff is good, and we need it. But... I think some people take it too far. Not too far, but some people go to the extreme where they I'm just, like, you're always resting and relaxing. They just live and rest. When are you working? Yeah. That's true. Whatever happened to working? That's that that went out in 2019. Yeah, people don't work. Nah. Um And sure, you know, I start my day at 6 p.m. every day. So, hmm. you know, it's easy for me to say, but very easy. During the day, I'm doing stuff, you know. Like sleeping. Going to the, yeah, so got to get or rest. Going to Trader Joe's. Supermarkets. Uh-huh. Yeah, I okay. go to the supermarket. I, that's the perfect time to go, though. Like during the well, afternoon. That's I, only when, you, that's when you're with like, uh, uh, what's her name? Gertrude, Ch- no. uh, Charita, Margarita. The Cougars. Yeah. Not beyond. I, I told you about the 24-hour supermarket. Which one is that? I got a 24-hour supermarket near Next my house. Two? Yeah. It's it's that's the way Game to go. Changer? But although I don't know, I feel like there's a weird vibe because I like I go in and it kind of feels like the nightclub. Like I show up, uh, like there's security, there like bouncer? he's asking me for ID. Yeah, there's music blasting. Yeah. Like it's kind of full. Is there a cover? It's weird. Yeah, it's like a weird. But I like I like shopping at one in the morning. At one a.m., I like shopping for groceries. Okay, that's when I like I, I could cleanse. That's where you can cleanse. cleanse and, you now know. back to back to talking about having guests over. Yes, now, if you have guests at your house. Yes. Are you the kind of person, because I'm the kind of person, like, if I know you're coming and I know that there's something that you like to drink or eat, I'm going to get that. Okay. I want you, when you come to my house, I want you to feel like you're at a five-star hotel. Mm. Uh, that's that, that's that's why I told you, like, I want you to, like, leave a Yelp review on my apartment. I see the wisdom there. I see the wisdom. The <laughs> my only, apartment is up for Yelp reviews. The only thing about, like, hotels is that. You know, that also means that people have the opportunity to come back. And that's what I'm leery of. Like, I don't want you to have such a great time where it's just like, hey, we should do this once a week or once a month. This is no, that's not that's not how I'm I'm operating. Maybe I'm not a good person. I but. yeah, I mean, listen, look, I think I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna push back on this and say I me. even though I agree because I don't want you coming to my house. I think as adults, we need to move past this. We, knew, we, yeah, we do? And we need to start having, you know, dinner parties. I think mm. that's part of being a grown-up. But why can't we have it, like, out? We can. We can. Yeah. But sometimes you go out and it's, like, so much. People it's a process, They're like, right? weren't you on the Tonight Show, your HBO? And I'm like, you know what? 
I should have just stayed home. Uh, okay, you know? okay, okay. So I think that that I see your wisdom that having people over your house. Also, like I'm not saying like not everyone's home is equipped to have people over. People over. That's what it is. Okay, that's where the trauma comes from. And I feel like every time we talk on this on this podcast, every time we're giving like advice, we're giving tips. Mm-hmm. It boils down to like self awareness. Where you're at. Be self aware. Mm. If your apartment can't withstand another human being going in there. Don't don't host. Sit this one out. Yeah. Why you want to host? If you can't cook, because that that supersedes the apartment not being hosting size. Because if the food is slamming, I don't care. We're all jamming in there. If the food is slamming, I'm gonna feel better about it. But uh-huh. I'm gonna be like, next time, let's do this in the At park. My house. Oh, okay. No, you can't come to my house. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. do this in the park. Okay. Because, you know, sometimes I've had this. People have all these. People have roommates and they'll bring you over. And then they got beef with the roommate, roommate. and don't tell you. And then you just walking into bed. So the roommate walk in and he's grilling you. Yep. And, and you're, you're like, like, who's that? The f-? And they're like, oh, don't worry about that. He said he going to kill everybody in here, but don't worry. <laughs> he's just talking. <laughs> Is that Trey Shaw? He's just talking. <laughs> don't bring me into your oh, roommate beef. man. And it'll be beef over like the silliest shit. Like, yo, you know you drank my orange juice and you didn't replace it. Like this, but people get petty when it comes to roommate beef. Like leaving a cup in the sink for two weeks when you're on vacation, you come back and that shit looks like a science experiment. Like, come on, son. I feel like roommate beef is real beef, though. If it, should we? This sounds like another episode, honestly. Roommate etiquette. Roommate etiquette. As an adult, yeah. Whew. I, I feel like that's real, real problems because listen, I don't like a cup. It, like I'm not the kind of like I don't like dishes in my sink. Mm. Like I don't feel like there should be dishes. Like I, I feel like when you're cooking, clean you, it. You put dishes in the sink. Okay. And you eat. Do the dishes. Mm. Right. I'm not like from the morning and I come at night and there's mm. dishes. Like mm-hmm. I just don't believe a sink should have dishes in it. And mm-hmm. some people disagree. Mm-hmm. Some people think the sink is a place to store dishes. To store the dishes. Yeah. And they'll just leave it there and, p- and pile up. I am not the type of random guest. And I think that's because of how I grew up. Like in a roommate situation where you come home after a long day of work or whatever, and then you come home and then your roommate is throwing a rager where it's like 10 people that you don't know. Oh, yeah. And they're eating oh, your like your that. your uh your Girl Scout cookies, thin mints, and it's just like, hold on. All right, like we need to have like and, and then what do you do? Because now you're stuck in a predicament. Do you fight? Do you have a house meeting? Like what? Like how do you how do you mitigate the situation? You put their toothbrush in the toilet. Mm. <laughs> That's how you get even. No, That's how you get I'm kidding. Even. That's not an adult thing. Oh to do. my god! You don't play with people's toothbrushes. Te- no, definitely not. You don't play with people's toothbrushes, especially if their breath is hot already. But Sorry. I don't. I don't like when you. What, what was the most roommates you had? Uh, at a time, so we had a big house. So it was one, two, three. It was. Five of us living, but in, in a, a big house. It was a big house, but it's still too many. Two floors, three floors, three floors. That's yeah. not bad. That's <sighs> all men. Yes. Now, how was the? Are are, are the? You were young. Yes, young. Yes, yes, twenties yes. is yes, different. Twenties, twenties. You, you know, are are they bringing girls over? That's the thing. Bringing... It it also turns into a brothel. Yeah, because as a woman, I don't know anything about women or vaginas. You know that. But I don't think a woman wants to go over a house where there's five other men your size living there. That's true. But the, the size is varied. Yeah? Yeah. The but they were all varied. pretty tall. And... No, no, no. I was the tallest. Okay. Well, yeah, that's better. Which is usually my life. That's better. Yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, I don't think... Marty, you're a woman. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> women don't want that, right? That's safe to say. I wouldn't want to go, like, go over to a house... I wouldn't care. You really? No. I mean, I you. Would, I'd be off put if it was like, if all of your friend, your roommates' friends, like, were if they were all there and in the same room. But if like you lived in a big house and you were like around college, there was like five other dudes. I wouldn't be like. Well, college is different. That's different. Okay. Oh, we're talking like mid twenties. Right no, I'm talking about like right after college too. Yeah, when oh. you're like, broke. but you're professionals. We're, yeah. we're professionals. Yeah. Professionally broke. You know? Yeah, but we, you know. Yeah, but then the you don't feel weird walking. You walk in a house and there's 
four or five football players sitting on a sitting on the playing, couch playing no, Madden, weird, playing Madden, and, and like yeah, trap house because that's how it was. Yeah, that's no, how. No, I take it back. I feel that's weird. definitely how yeah. it was. That is that but is weird. You know what it was too was I was the perfect roommate in the sense of I was never home. I was always working. Like shout I had my day shout job. out to the roommates that are never home. Woo. Roommates that are never home. I mean, they deserve an award, a medal. Yeah, yeah, they deserve an award because they're doing good. They they they're basically keeping the peace. That like I feel like if you're gonna have roommates, that should be an unspoken rule. Opposite schedules. Like if if we're gonna be roommates, it's implied that we can't be home. No. And if we are in the room, door shut, no sounds coming out. None. Of None. Right? Am Isolation. I wrong? But here's the caveat: COVID. That shit shook all that shit up. Wow, people were stuck with roommates. Well, I, well, that's why I think in COVID, a lot of people went home. Yeah. So that that was nice, right? Yeah. If if you had an apartment, did you go home? I didn't go. I didn't go home. I went to um, the monastery. No, uh, kind of to Wuhan to help yeah. the kids. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, did, I went. Did you go back mom, to Fiji? My mom and her sisters have this house in New Jersey in Bayhead. Sure, the sure beach, they do. And it's yeah. like it's old. It's really, really, really old. And I went to stay there by myself. And there was like nobody else in the entire neighborhood. Like the street was like right on the water, and the whole street there wasn't a single soul living there because they were all like summer homes. And I but that was in March. Did they start coming? No. So they you closed. had the summer there. I well, I was there from March, uh, like April, May, and then I think I left. I think I was there from March, April, May. Okay. And okay. Yeah. And even and May was, was ghost town. It was complete. I was the only one there. I got so weird. There was no, like, I got so, so, so weird. What do you mean? Did you bring I, friends out or no, anybody? No. How did you get weird? in this house by myself. Did you have I, Wi-Fi? I had Wi-Fi and I worked, like, so much. And I would just, like, I started buying, like, 18th century nightgowns online, yeah. like, on Etsy. And I would walk around <laughs> the, the top floor of this house. So that if boats saw me from the water and you used binoculars, I was haunting it. <laughs> there you have it. I almost thought we were going to go through an episode without Marty saying like a weird story about her past. We were, we were, we were 50 she minutes in. She comes through. Like and it's shit, stuff that we're like, she, what? How like, have you not? This is so beyond my. Have you, how have you not mentioned this before? <laughs> what? So wait, what she about like groceries she and she stuff? Nightgowns and was pretending to be <laughs> haunting a house in the middle ghosts. of COVID. <laughs> there you go. Nobody. That's how she spent her COVID. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, they nobody ever called. Usually, if you're there by yourself and it's not tourist season, like like the cops are like really freaked out that people are breaking into the houses. Uh -huh. So they'll usually like stop by at some point to be like. Like, like are, home are alone. you supposed to be here kind uh -huh. of yeah. energy? Like that's happened to me before where they're like, are you supposed to be here? That's what they, that's all they did? Nobody stopped and check on me. No I kidding. I wonder house. if the same thing would have happened if I was in the house. Oh, oh no, they would have had the SWAT team. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder if that same energy would have been. Uh, <laughs> no. Did you see that comedian that, that's they just let me. They just let me exist. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you see that comedian that's just living in yeah, that house? That's, that's privilege, Marty. Yeah. That's what that's called. Yeah. <laughs> to well, haunt. Yeah. That You're back. pretending to haunt a house. <laughs> <laughs> and no cops, nothing. No one, everyone's like, yeah, she's she's fine. Oh, my God. She's harmless. Hold on. But yeah, like, what about food and groceries and stuff? Was that still open? Okay, so there was, like, this shop that sold, like, <laughs> like um, it was, like, like, party food, like, crackers and cheese and things like that. Like, it wasn't, like, a grocery store but i lived off of the only like they had like french yogurt and cookies and things for like a charcuterie board so i lived off of like charcuterie board things and french yogurt for those two months not Greek no yogurt, supermarket near? Yogurt. you didn't have a car neither mm -mm. i took the train out and like yeah i think like the week the city shut down and, I and you just, couldn't and you order couldn't food move. no they didn't let anyone order food uh i think for the first like three weeks or something like that yeah and then and like i couldn't be like they could let you order food if you were elderly but like like they well, were, you got the gown the gown <laughs> that's what i was gonna say you should have just showed them your nightgown like i didn't want to be like i am 75 so i that would have yeah. been hilarious so i yeah. just lived off of french yogurt um for those two i'm months. surprised why why didn't you bring a friend like to hank okay so my roommate got stuck 
at her boyfriend's um, and I like Ubered her underwear and like a little bag. And How did she get stuck? Have you ever Ubered underwear? So she, no. like when the city shut I'm banned down, from Uber. Yeah. we were living in Bushwick and she was at her boyfriend's house and um, her boyfriend was living with his mom and his mom was like, if you leave, I don't want you to come back. Because of the COVID. Because of, of, yeah. of COVID. So she didn't want to leave and then not be able to see him for months. So she was like, I have to stay. So I packed up a bunch of her stuff and I like left it on the curb in Bushwick and an Uber picked it up and brought it to her. And then Are they still together? They are. Okay. Yeah. Right. They are still together. All right. Because um, you would have so, needed a refund for that. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So I was there. I was there by myself for, um, yeah, those two months. And most people I knew went home that's that's like they just flew back to ohio and stuff yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like a lot of people went home they during left. the roommate yeah. thing yeah. but um to to uh to recap this episode um when when you invite invite people over to your house i think don't haunt them right and have find out what they like and it's, yeah. it go it's a nice touch to to have you know if if they like to drink, uh, you know, I, I don't know. What are the kids drinking Scotch. now? Scotch. What's the new uh, Sprite? Starry. You heard Sprite? it. Starry. Oh, oh, oh that's uh, that's yeah. the re uh, replacement for Sierra Mist. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Sierra Mist is out. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, no more Sierra Mist. That's it. They rebranded. Oh, rebrand. So yeah. it's Starry. Starry. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. I thought Starry was the third. I no, thought there was another I, thing. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Sierra yeah. Mist is out of here. Oh, I didn't know Sierra Mist was gone. Yep. Um, yeah, like if they like to drink, you know, have them something they like to drink that they'll be like, oh, this person is nice. Clean up your house. Uh, you know, don't bring people into a, a, a messy clean home. Clean up your house. Yeah. Clean your bathroom. Too. Oh, oh, the bathroom. That is the, number one. The, the toilet. Yeah. The, just the it whole shouldn't be thing. a ring around your toilet nah. or your bathtub. Yeah. That's just a smell like life. Not if you invite people over. I get it. Look, if you've been traveling, you haven't got around to I'm not going to judge. Don't invite nobody. But don't. Inv if you invite me over, I'm going to assume. This shit be clean, son. Right. It's like, I'm going to assume it's like a hotel. I'm going to assume that I could walk in and check in. Yeah. Like, don't come. And, and you know what? That's also like, unless it's the weekend or something. Yo, you're not coming in the house before 2 p.m. Like the hotel. Like, you're not, you can't check in before 2 p.m. because they need that hours to clean up. You know what I'm saying? So right. take your time, clean up. Yo, come over 3 p.m. That's when check in is. Right. There you have it, baby. Adult Hood Podcast, episode 29. Woo! October 30th. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys their Halloween tomorrow. Stay out of trouble. Be safe. We want to see y'all next week listening to the boys from Adult Hub Pod. I'm Ian Lara. DJ I'm PM. Ultramania. Peace.